Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli from the Tesla Model 3 today. Uh, today we're going to compare the upcoming Tesla Model Y with the already existing uh, Jaguar I-Pace. They're both small SUV, full electric cars. Uh, I'm going to go through the main features of each one of them. One and then the other one and then I'm going to give you my opinion uh, of what you should do. So let's go right through. Let's start with the Jaguar, which I, like I said, it is available right now for purchase. Price is 69500 for the base model and goes all the way up to 85900 It is an all-wheel drive car. It has 394 horsepower, 512 pound feet of torque that is a monster on a 90 kilowatt hour battery which only and i say only gives you 234 miles uh, the jaguar ipace is ready to be a very inefficient car uh it does give you the capability to charge it on a 50 on a fast charger 50 kilowatt uh, um, dc fast charger and uh, gives you a a trunk of uh, 25.3 cubic feet uh, the inside is very, I will call it involved. There's a center console, obviously. Uh, there is a screen on the center. There is a um, screen be, uh, behind uh, your wheel. There are some physical buttons, some touchscreen but buttons. The center console in the middle is um, like a double decker. I saw it on the uh, Honda Clarity. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm, I'm not sure I do. Uh, as far as... Um, Safety is concerned. It does have a hill assist uh, feature. It's something like creep, I would say, but it can assist you. Emergency braking, cruise control, and speed limit. I would call it like an adaptive cruise control. Uh, a driving, um, a driver uh, coordination and monitor. That means um, that that you know what that means. That means like if the car if the car sense that you like. Uh, fall asleep kind of a thing. I used to have it in the Ford. So let's say you going start to veering to the side or to the center lane, the car will predict that you are not, not alert so much. So it will, um, you know, uh, monitor your condition <laughs> and maybe tell you, to beep you to, to stop. Or in my Ford, my old Ford used to be like, show you a cup of coffee. You know, go get coffee, wake up. Um, it does recognize traffic signs and it will monitor your speed. It's not going to stop in a stop sign, but it will, it will monitor your speed when it sees traffic signs, traffic lights or stop signs. It does have a lane keep assist, a rear, a rear camera, and a, they call it a park crack, meaning park assist, like many other cars do. So these are the main features, the price, the range, the torque, the charging, and the safety. Uh, it is a five-seater. It's only a five-seater. Let's go to the Model Y. So the Model Y right now, you uh, prices are from forty-seven thousand to sixty thousand, but a thirty-nine thousand uh, version will come later on in twenty twenty-one. It it has an option of a rear-wheel drive or an all-wheel drive. Uh, it it has um, two hundred and 58 horsepower and that is for the model 3 i there is no more there's no information yet on the model y but let's take that number for now uh the range will go from 220 for the very basic model the 39,000, all the way to 300 for the uh rear wheel drive the all wheel drive will get 280. Uh, the dc fast charger right now it's 120 kilowatt and um, all the way up to 250 when the uh, version 3 of the superchargers will come out. It does have a large um, uh, trunk, 66 uh, cubic feet, and it will ha it does have a 5-seater option, and it will have a 7-seater option. As far as safety is concerned, uh, it does have a creep mode, emergency brake, uh, Obviously, it has the uh, adaptive cruise control, the autopilot suit, the uh, full self-drive option. Uh, it, uh, it has the. Uh, it will have eventually a traffic sign, uh, a traffic lights, uh, and other signs recognition, and actually stop and go in small in uh, in inside cities. Uh, 
of course it has a lane assist keeper uh, of course uh, it has eight cameras all around and uh and the uh, the tesla model uh, all the teslas by the way are rated five stars in terms of safety uh the inside is just like the tesla model uh three it has just one 15 inch screen that's it that's all there is to it most of the stuff will go uh, like that now the outside uh, the um, Tesla uh, Model Y looks exactly like the Tesla Model 3 from the front and from most of the sides. It is taller, obviously, and the trunk, the, the rear is uh, higher. Uh, it will give you a deeper front and a very, very nice uh, trunk. Uh, and like I said, a seven seat uh, option. The Jaguar, it's a very beautiful looking car very interesting a lot of lines uh, the wheels the tire the, the spokes and the um uh, front and the back is like really uh, have a nice sharp uh, uh decline which makes by the way that's for aer aerodynamic which makes the uh the trunk a uh, very um small they are they both are uh, uh hatchbacks which is a wonderful thing let me give you my opinion uh, obviously, from the price point of view, uh, the base model, the base model uh, Jaguar, and the high-end uh, Model Y, uh, and if you add uh, some options, you can get to the um, to almost the same price. I mean, the sixty thousand dollar base model Y is without any options. You put the autopilot you put all this thing color whatever it is you can easily get to 69,000 and so I would say the base model Jaguar is very comparable to the high-end very high-end model Y so if you want to make comparisons that will be uh, the right the right one I think so the price is good the range is very huge advantage to um, a Tesla because it has an option all the way to uh, 300 miles it is a very efficient car. The charging speed is exponentially better for the Tesla Model Y and the charging infrastructure is Tesla, not only to the to the Jaguar, to every car. The, the supercharger is uh, amazing. The cargo, the Tesla has a huge advantage. Huge. I mean, you're talking about four times bigger, more than four times bigger. It, it could be a seven seater, even though the um, back seats are not going to be so comfortable. Uh, in terms of the uh, safety, uh, you know, now that I drive the Tesla Model 3, which is going to be exactly like the Tesla Model Y, which is the, te uh, the Tesla Model will be exactly like that. I would say that they, I did not drive the Jogger, so they are probably even, even. There are a lot of issues with autopilot. I made so many videos about it and with the adaptive cruise control. So uh, it's still not, um, as we say, 100%. Uh, but so I'm going to give them a tie for both of them. Let's leave it at that. Uh, I like the fact that uh, Tesla has the rear wheel drive and the all wheel drive options, so you, so you can choose. That's great. And I think the, the Jaguar biggest, biggest advantage is that it's available right now. If you want a all electric SUV, small compact SUV, uh, crossover as we call it, the Jaguar is ready right now. You know, for about $70,000, you can get that's a lot of money. The biggest advantage of the Model Y, just like every other Tesla, there are so many options, battery sizes, so you, you can really choose. Here, the Jaguar is like any other electric car that is not Tesla, what you see is what you get. There are no over-the-air uh, uh, upgrades, there are no uh, different battery sizes that you can choose for. This is what you have. It's one size fit all. In the in the Tesla Model Y, just like the three and the others, you have uh, 220 miles. You have 280 miles. You have you will have three and you have three options so far. Tesla always have options, so that is a big advantage. So if you don't need it now, obviously you can wait to get a great great value for a full electric small SUV. If you cannot wait and you have around seventy thousand dollars to spend on an electric suv go ahead obviously the tesla charging capabilities and speed and availability of charges is exponentially a uh, big advantage so the question is what is it, what is it that you need and what is it that you want right at this moment so it's up to you that's it guys if i didn't cover anything let me know please subscribe help me change the world with an electric car see you tomorrow with another episode